Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sunnet Television. We are here today in the city of Hillsborough over at the H&W Pacific fire truck facility. This is where H&W Pacific manufacture fire engines, which they in turn sell throughout the Pacific Northwest, that is, i.e. Oregon and Washington. They also sell in Idaho as well. And they make a variety of different types of vehicles and apparatus, and we're going to be taking a look at that. This is a brand new fire engine that they have just completed that they will, in fact, be sending up to a customer in Fort Washington. As you can see, there's lots of noise going on here because this is a fully functioning facility. But the interesting thing about this particular rig is it's going to Forks, Washington, and the claim to fame for the folks up in Forks is where, of course, they shoot Twilight, which is that movie that all the kids seem to like about Dracula and Dracula-type things. Anyway, so again, we're gonna take a look at this particular fire engine. So let's go along and check out this brand new vehicle from H&W Pacific Fire Apparatus. Well, right now we have a federal signal grinder. Uh, this is a Q2B unit. Uh, basically, you have an electrical mechanical motor inside here that's basically turning a set of blades around that generates that classic air raid tone or low frequency siren that is famous with this particular product, which is made by Federal Signal, also available on SirenNet. Down here, we have a selection of siren speakers. These particular units here, again, you can check out the website looking at the siren speaker section. Up here in the front headlight area, we have basically got the Whelan 600 series LED modules. This one happens to be red, this one happens to be white. And again, in the LED section, you'll be able to find these lights. This particular uh, light itself also has a flange mount that allows you, if an older rig, to mount these light heads into this type of housing should the need arise. And again, you can check that out on the website. Turn signal arrows, LED of course. Then here on the side, we've got a series of 500 series LED light. This particular one is set up as a turn light, so it'll come on when the vehicle turns left or right. There's one on either side of that. Then we have a 600 series again LED light head. There's going to be a lot of 600 series on this particular rig with a chrome flange as well included. And again, you can check out the specs on the site from that aspect. Now on the rear of the rig, we have got basically a stop turn reverse light configuration uh, set up in a Whelan housing. This is the brake light area here, this is the turn signal light area here, and then this is the reverse light area here. The lighting above that is again 600 series, and this particular of course is for emergency warning. So in other words, this here functions from a stop turn perspective and a reversing perspective, whereas this here operates from a warning perspective. Also included are additional lighting up here. These are scene lights. There's one on either side of this particular piece of apparatus. And those scene lights come on when the vehicle goes into reverse or, of course, can also be independently illuminated as well. L31 beacons. There's a red one on this side and an amber one on the other side. Gives additional warning to the rear of the vehicle. Well, one of the features about this particular rig, along with many, is the fact that officer and firefighter safety is very important. So basically, when you open the door of this particular fire engine, on here will come a 500 series TIR-6 in a flange mount will come on to make sure that oncoming traffic can clearly see that the doorway is open and a firefighter is about to step out of the vehicle. Similar situation is set up on the front of the vehicle. So basically what we have here is an LED strip made by Wheel and Engineering which is showing different multicolors. We have reds, yellows, blues and greens. But what this is, it's, it's a water level indicator in relating to the amount of water that's available on this particular fire engine with respect to being pumped. So obviously red meaning critical, amber is caution, blue you're getting close, green means you've got plenty of water. So again, there's one on either side of this cab that indicates to the pump operator as well as the lieutenant who would be on this rig, i.e. the fire officer, what the situation is with the water level on this particular fire engine. We have scene lights. These scene lights are from Havis Shields, or what is now known as Havis actually. They're available on our scene light section here at SirenNet. An interesting feature about this particular raised pole is that we have a handle area here which allows you to grip 
as you step down, as you can see here, as opposed to grabbing onto the pole, which would do damage to the pole. So this grip is an add-on which is available in relation to this type of product. Now this happens to be a product which you have also available on Sirenet. It is in the scene light section or flashlight area as well. And this particular product is made by Streamlight. And again, it allows you to have a heavy duty flashlight LED unit mounted inside the fire engine. There we go. And there's one on either side here, so as a firefighter can jump out and grab this should they need to do so. Additional LED lighting, of course, is available inside here. And again, this is the kind of product that at Sirenet we have the ability to supply you should the need arise as well. So I'm going to go ahead right now and show you some of the siren amplification equipment that's available in this ring. And again, if you check out the siren section on Sirenet, you can purchase some of this particular equipment. So I'm using the flashlight. As you can see here, there is a wheel and siren amplifier available. This rig is also set up with a traffic advisor on the rear. And again, both of these items are available. The traffic advisor unit will be available in the traffic section on Sirenet. And the siren amplifier control will be available in the siren section on Sirenet. Now on the roof of this fire engine, we actually have a set of Whelan light bars. These are actually in the Freedom family. The forward-facing bar, of course, is a 60-inch uh, Freedom bar. And then on the left and right side, we have mini Freedom bars. Now, these bars are what's known as NFPA-specified light bars. And in the United States, uh, the fire service has got certain rules and regulations which fall under what's known as NFPA. And this particular fire engine does fall into that area. So the lighting that you see would be different if you decide to have it different in other parts of the world, but here in the US, this is an NFPA package, so therefore it flashes to the sequence that they particularly would require. So again, these are Freedom Light Bars, and they're available in the Light Bar section on Sirenet. Well, there you have it, a look at a H&W Pacific fire apparatus here in Hillsboro, Oregon. I'm Stuart, you've been watching Sirenet Television, and this truck is on its way to Forks, Washington. <laughs>